Hi, this is Jason Lewis, Midday's Technophile. Previous versions of Watch Dogs put us in the shoes of a singular master hacker spy combat expert. This time around, Ubisoft went with something bolder. They've gone ahead and made almost all of the people you encounter in the city of London recruitable, with no clear single protagonist. It's a really innovative approach and you can switch between recruits, some of whom are better suited for certain missions. These recruits are part of the hacker collective DeadSec, who have been wrongly implicated in a London bombing by a sinister group called Zero Day. As part of DeadSec, you are tasked with uncovering the conspiracy and clearing their name. All of this, of course, takes place in a dystopian London where everything is connected, drones litter the skies, and you're constantly being monitored. The story is a bit run of the mill, nothing you wouldn't expect. Some of the voice acting in the game is pretty good, but there are bad ones too. For example, Bagley the AI is brilliantly funny and doesn't get tedious even though his voice is constantly in your ear. Ah, London. What a town. History around every corner and a tourist photographing it. An example of bad voice acting is the Kelly clan leader. Back to your old life. Back to nothing. She sounds very generic, almost as if she walked out of a Guy Ritchie movie and not in a good way. The voices of the people on the street are a mixed bag as well, but considering how many people they had to make, this was a good outcome. I love the way Watchdog approaches missions. You are always encouraged to explore and find hidden tech points and other goodies all over the map. The way you go about finishing a mission also depends on the recruit you're using. For example, my go-to guy was a hacker that could shock people from afar. I mostly attacked while being hidden and never really went one-on-one. -on -one. I also unlocked a spy early on in the game. Whenever I needed a change, I always switched to him because he had some fancy gear. His car could shoot missiles and cloak itself. To top it all, his weapon had a silencer for stealth kills. The game is filled with such interesting characters and it's a fun side mission in itself to go find these people. Legion also has permanent death and I would encourage you to turn it on. It really brings a sense of thrill to the game, especially if you're playing with one of your star recruits. Actual death is a little hard to achieve and if you find yourself in a sticky situation, you can always run off to recover. Fortunately, in most cases, you also don't die from falling off the ledge of a building, which is great. Watch Dogs Legion is a fun game overall. I really love the idea that you can approach the gameplay in multiple ways thanks to the different types of recruits. If you're looking for something that challenges the sandbox approach to gaming, then this is for you. As long as you aren't looking for another GTA, you should be fine. This is your Technophile signing off. Until next time. Subscribe to Midday India. Get direct notifications on all our videos by clicking on the bell icon.